Do you have any pain with your nails? So what made you want to choose to come to see me then? I'll watch them all. Yeah, a lot of people don't comment, but the commenting is what helps my videos show up in the recommendation list. So you can just say hi, even. <laughs> If you have any questions during, feel free to ask. Do you have any pain with your nails? Yeah. Not so much that foot, more the other one. The other one. The pressure from that, all the buildup underneath. Yeah. Bought a bigger size shoe and I thought, that should help and like no it still hurts. Sometimes when the nail and the material has been pressing into your skin for a long time, after I remove it like in here, it can kind of feel sensitive or vulnerable. So I'll be real careful not to push into the skin. Almost like wearing a seatbelt for so long and then you get in a car without your seatbelt on and you like don't feel safe, you know what I mean? <laughs> Why is it on some toes that's discolored and others aren't? See, that's the big question. <laughs> because people think that nail fungus is so, so, so contagious. If it's that contagious, then why somebody who has it, why don't they have it on every single toe? So, my theory is because the first and the second toe are the longest on the foot and they hit the top of the shoe box, they have more pressure and more damage and more heat. There's more room down here because the rest of the toe is roomy. And I think that the, you know, it's like being covered. It's almost, it's hotter. It's, um, you know, hitting the shoe. And it just, because fungus needs a dark, warm, moist place. And if you have trauma that causes a little bit of lifting, you're gonna really like how they look. It's gonna be hot out so and I wanna expose my toes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, if people learned to recognize when an athlete's foot first starts uh -huh. to prevent it from getting into their nails you know, then they, the problem wouldn't even start. So what do you, how do you feel? Um, not all athletes' foot itches. So that's one misconception that people don't, they think, oh, that's that athlete's foot because it's just thick, dry skin. 
but there is a type of fungus that just causes like a layer of thick callus skin. That's what it looks like. Um, so as soon as somebody starts getting that thick callus skin, if they start using it, um, the product. All right, I'll try to work fast so you don't get a cramp. If you're starting to cramp, tell me and then we'll straighten it all the way out again. But I got to get these at least first two nails thinned out some because of the angle of uh, your foot. hear that noise that's going er, er. that's because I'm working too fast but I kind of have to and that's when I tell my students don't if you hear that you're pressing too hard but because it can build up heat but because your nail is so thick I'm sure you're not feeling any of the heat right now are you no. okay good. <laughs> did you have ingrown toenail surgery before uh, no, not on that foot. No. I did on the other one. Uh, getting a little hot right now. Okay. I think because they tried to like, cut it and not know what they were doing when they were cutting it. That's oh, why okay. it looked like That's that. why that looks like that. Gotcha. Okay. Like, I guess, doctors are not quite yet doctors. I don't know. The residents? Yeah. Doing this, yeah, I mean, this is my first love. I mean, I'm really good at doing hair, but right. <laughs> I will. You gotta follow your love. Yeah, it's really hard to teach, um, like feel, you know. I always wonder if that part hurt. And. <laughs> there's a lot of um, naysayers saying oh there's no way that nail's never going to reattach and you shouldn't tell people that and then on his next video I was like D none of you guys have said you're sorry yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I know it can reattach because I, I think when I was younger, I had one go, go off and then it kind of came back together. That split it on top. Keep working out of my steps because I'm worried about you being uncomfortable for too long.
How long you think this has been like this? A couple years. At least five. Okay. I do manicures and acrylic nails. Figure out me a manicure at some point. I um, have a split in my nail, my thumbnail that's kind of been there forever. As it grown out, it gets to a certain length and then split too. Oh, well, you'll just show it to me. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's because the skin is pushed up underneath that one more than it is on this one. Do you have any questions for me? Mm, no, not yet. <laughs> 